the obvious questions, Coach. How was first day with the guys? Second day, and uh, tell us what you think about the the early enrollees, the new guys you got, Trevor and like Dar Dar Darion Kendrick. Oh man, first of all, it's good to be back on the grass. Obviously, the last time we were on the grass, we, we didn't have a good taste in our mouth, but you can see that there's a sense of urgency with these guys. Uh, the leadership that we have, the veterans that are coming back, set the tempo. Tempo is something we've been in stre uh, been stressing, and, and the guys are moving around good. Obviously, we're in short, so really now it's not as physical, it's mostly mental, so it's been good, uh, good retention. The young guys that just got here, um, you can see why those guys were where they were ranked, where they were ranked uh, nationally. Obviously, Carmen is a big guy that can, that can move, move his feet. Uh, doing a really good job. Obviously, as we continue to install, uh, you'll see how much he can, uh, he can handle. You know, Trevor, Trevor is advertised, uh, moves well, uh, athletic, throws the ball. Uh, obviously, you guys get to see him early in practice and you see how he can throw it. But just been impressed with how, how poised he is, you know, as a young guy. Uh, DK is, uh, he reminds me of Sammy, it's just a different gear. You know, when he moves, when he takes off the line, I mean, he just moves at a, moves at a different speed. I miss anybody? Talk about Kelly and, and his, his, his second year as an incumbent quarterback, starting quarterback, his role, uh, what you see in him leadership-wise and what you expect from him going into the spring. You know, I think uh, you know, there were a lot of questions about Kelly this time last spring, uh, but by the end of the season, I think he answered all those. You see that he's just a natural leader. He's got a different style than, than the guys that we've had in the past. Uh, he, he does it his way, but he can engage everybody uh, from the walk-on to the, to the, to the five-star guy, the highly recruited guy. Everybody in the locker room loves him, and you just see that. You see his poise. Uh, you see his confidence, and he's earned the right so far to, to, to run out there first, but, but he knows he's got competition, and he's responded well. Where do you think he's going to be repping? You know, right now, he's, he's playing out of tackle. Um, he's playing left tackle, and, and obviously, probably does a really good job of cross training all those guys. But, but for him, just getting here first spring, you know, starting that tackle, and obviously, as uh, as the depth uh, continues to develop, we'll be able to move him around once he's able to uh, comprehend everything he needs to do with tackle. What do you think of that O-line depth right now? You know, but I like it so far. Uh, obviously, we're in shorts, and, and we're going to find out a little bit more tomorrow. But you got a lot of guys that, that are returning. Uh, some guys that got to step into some roles. Some guys that were really putting pressure on is John Simpson. You know, you step up. You're losing your you're losing your left guard, and then you're losing both your right guards. And Maverick and Tyrone, and you know, Pollard's a guy that can challenge and move inside and see can he function the guard and help us. And I've been really uh, really impressed with uh, Kate Stewart. Uh, you can see he's got a different sense of urgency about himself. And you know, Blake Vincent's a guy. You know, that's really starting to show some early athleticism. Chandler Reeves is another guy that's caught our attention just athletically the way that he's moving. Um, and then Bockhorst, you know, Bockhorst is a mauler. So really, really like the, the ability. Now we just got to see how much they can comprehend and, and, and compete this uh, this spring and then put the physical piece to it and then there we go. What about the wide receiver group? You got a couple guys that left early for the NFL, left a couple vacancies and some roles there. What do you see right now so far? Who's stepping up into the roles that they were left? You know, the guy that, that's really stepped up is, uh, is Trevion Thompson. You know, he's a guy that's been in our program and we're really, really counting on his uh, veteran leadership. And, you know, he's a guy that can play all the positions and you've seen him all over the field. He's made some plays. You know, TJ Chase was a guy that got off to a really, really good start last uh, fall camp, but he was just caught in a situation where there was a lot of depth at his position. Uh, but with Trevion's ability to move around, you know, TJ has gotten more opportunities to get some reps. You know, DeAndre is a guy that continues to get better every single practice. I think we all know what we got. Uh, and T. Higgins, we just got to strain him and, uh, and, uh, and really see how much he can handle. Uh, and then DK is a guy early on, you know, coming right out the gate that's really, really pushing these guys up. Kendrick, he said, reminds you of the same. Well, just the explosiveness, like, like, like he just moves. When he comes off the line, there's some guys you know it. Uh, that first step, like Wayne Gallman was a guy, you know, he wasn't the fastest guy that I've ever had, but he was the most explosive leader, leaving his stance. So you see some guys just have some different attributes, and that's the thing that you that you see with Darion. It's just easy for him to uh, uh, easy for him to run. He's very explosive. And again, as as we get into uh, as we get into deeper in the spring ball, we add more insulation. We'll see if he's able to maintain that explosiveness and that speed and play pass. He can help in special teams on do you think? We well, definitely, definitely think he's a guy that, that can help us as special teams. Same thing with, with Amari, uh, really, really challenging the backs. That's where I think you know we can make an improvement just from the offensive side, offensive side of the ball and challenging these guys to really make really make an impact on special teams to make us an even better football team. More on Darian, I mean, he's a quarterback at the, uh, at the high school level. What have you noticed about his problem? I mean, does it look like a guy who's been playing for a You know, I don't get to see as much other than what I see on film, but uh, but everything that I can see looks very, very natural. You know, um, it's a little bit different situation than, than, than Dion in that Dion played quarterback, but it was more of a, this guy just looks more natural doing it. Dion had to have to really learn how to play the position. He's a lot like Ray Ray. Ray Ray was a guy that played running back, but he just was very fluid and natural at the position. That's what you see in DK. Running backs, um, Travis and Taven, are they split in first rounds right now, or is Taven? All three of them are, are competing. You know, Taven earned the right. That's how we finished uh, in the season. He earned the right to go out there first, man, but it's open competition. 
and, uh, and feel really good uh, uh, about the ability. Now we got to really, really straighten those guys uh, and understand the privilege it is to be the one that's named the starter. But even if you're not the starter, you're going to play starter reps because we're rolling a lot of guys. And in today's uh, day and age, to keep guys healthy, keep them fresh, and, and, and be physical and fast at the end of the season, you got to play your guys. Talk Travis, about have those guys improved without the ball and pass rush and that kind of stuff? No, we're in shorts. We're, we're <laughs> well, is, that, is that the thing you want to see? <laughs> no, doubt. Post, though? no doubt. You know, we, we, we spend a lot of time every year at the end of the season studying ourselves. And, uh, and one thing that we take pride in as a running back is protecting the ball and protecting the quarterback. And considering, you know, how young those guys were, I thought they did a really good job of protecting the ball. Didn't put the ball on the ground much. But it was a big drop off from the year before from a pass protection standpoint. And a lot of it is they're just young. You know, we, we, we forget that Wayne Gallman was a freshman. And he gave up a couple sacks when he was a freshman. He was a young guy. But we also had him as a, as a, as a fourth year player the year before. And you see that he gave up a half a sack he was responsible for. And he gave up uh, quite a few more at the running back position. So that's a big point of emphasis. And I can't wait to get the pads on to see how much they're going to take ownership of it. Because they're both physical guys. It's just that commitment at every single play to get your job done. How much has John Simpson matured since he got here? Uh, you, see? you know, a lot. A lot. And, and again, at guard, a lot happens inside. A lot just moving fast. And, and I think Hearn did a really good job of taking him under his wing. And you've seen these first two days that he just looks like a lot more confident guy. Uh, physical. He's a physical, strong guy at the point of attack. It's just now you can see the game is starting to slow down a little bit more. It's a lot of movement, especially versus our defense and what Coach Venable does and how they strain us every single day with all the movement we, that we get. Talk about tight end and what you get when you get Garrett Williams back. You know, Garrett is a guy that uh, if you go back to uh, – Years when we had uh, your Sam Coopers and your Daryl Smiths, they just give you an extra, you know, point of attack, you know, kind of guy. Um, and, and obviously, he's getting better as a, as a passing threat too. So I'm hoping by the end of the spring that he's going to be back to full confidence and, and and really making progress in that area of catching the ball. But you just get a tough, physical guy. Uh, nobody's going to work harder. Nobody's going to be more committed. And so he brings an unbelievable amount of uh, leadership to our to our whole team and the tight end room. There's certain things you're looking forward to the running backs. I know you talked about pass rush, but, but or pass protection, but specifically are there things you want to see this spring? You know, I want to see I want to see us uh, pad level. You know, I think that uh, we improved from the year before in short yardage, but we still have some opportunity at, at back because again. They can't block them all up front. There's going to be times in, in predictable short yardage situations where we got to get down behind our pads. And I want to see our violence increase, and especially in short yardage situations. I want our knowledge you know, of the system you know, to increase so that, so that the younger guys can function with no doubt in every single situation. And then I just want to see us play fast. So pre-snap intensity is something that we're really, really uh, focusing on this spring because the more you can process pre-snap, the faster you can play post-snap. And I think a lot of the pass protection, especially in Travis's case, is you know, he's trying to process so much pre Snap that when the ball snaps, he's, he's somewhat paralyzed because he's thinking about it. And, and with these 15 practices and the 25 practices in the fall, I want to see his, his pre-snap awareness and understanding increase so that post-snap is playing as fast as he does when he has the ball in the field. Coach, name a player on the roster that you think is going to step out this spring and this year out of the roster that we haven't seen in the past? <clears throat> Guy that's going to, going to step up. You know, I think that you guys know about Gay Cervenka. I think Gay Cervenka is going to help us um, in his ability to play center and play guard. Um, just trying to think. Trayvon Thompson, I think, is a guy that, that that's really going to you know, kind of be that, that putty guy that, that, that makes us go up wider. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, Coach. You're welcome.